This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create this vintage athletic style t-shirt design where you can input your own words here using Adobe Illustrator. In order to follow along with this tutorial, you'll need to download and install a specific font known as Varsity Team. I will have that linked in the description of the video. So go ahead and download and install that font and we'll be good to get started. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Illustrator here. I've created a new document sized at 1280 by 720. And the first thing I'm going to do is create some text on the canvas here. So I'm going to grab the text tool, which is over here. And I'm going to click on the canvas till we get this placeholder text. And I'm going to come up here to the font selector and I'm looking for the font that I've installed, which is called Varsity. So I'm going to start typing it, V-A-R-S. And there it is right there. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And there you have that font change right there. Now I'm going to write in here for the, for the, uh, for, for, just for the demonstration purposes, I'm going to write Illustrator here as the top line of text. Uh, what I'm referring to here is the top line of text going over the top here that we're going to arch. And I'm going to grab the Select tool and I'm just going to make that bigger. I'm going to hold Shift so it locks the uh, proportions like that. And I want to make this a different color. I'm going to make this a dark shade of blue, maybe something like that. Let me grab my HSB adjuster over here. If you need help changing the color, you can just open the Colors menu by going to Window, Color or you can choose the color over here. I'm just gonna use this menu over here because it's what I'm most familiar with. I'm gonna make this a very dark shade of blue, like a navy blue, remove some of the saturation from there. That right there looks pretty good. And now what I wanna do is I wanna give this text an arch. So to do that, I'm gonna to go to, I'm gonna make sure I have the text selected. I'm gonna to go to Object, Envelope Distort, and I'm gonna select Make with Warp. Now from the dropdown over here, the style, from this dropdown that says Style, I wanna choose Arch right here. And if you notice, the text is arched, but that's a bit of a high arc right there. I want to bring that down a little bit. So I'm going to take the bend and bring that down to about there. That looks pretty good, about 19%. Go ahead and click OK. And now what I can do is I can go to Object, Expand, and then click OK. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the EST text down here in the middle, as you see right here, the established and the date right there. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to grab the text tool again, which is over here. Click to create some placeholder text. Now by default, it should be using the font that you most recently use, which is convenient. So I'm just gonna type in BST 1987, which is when Illustrator was originally found. Go back to the select tool, scale this up a little bit. And again, hold shift while you do that to lock the uh, proportions so it doesn't distort. Place this right about here. I wanna center this up with the main text. So I'm gonna hold shift and click on the main text. Make sure you have them both selected. Open up your align menu. If you don't have it open, you can go to window, align and the align too. I want to make sure I have it set to align to artboard. Then I'm going to go ahead and align this on the horizontal axis relative to the artboard like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a rectangle going over this date right here. So let's grab the uh, squares and rectangles tool which is right here. And I'm just going to click and drag to create a rectangle going over this. And I want this rectangle to be the same color of this text right here. So I'm going to grab the dropper, which is over here, the eyedropper tool, and I'm going to click on that blue text to make that the same color. Grab the select tool. Let's right click on this rectangle and go to arrange, send, uh, send to the back. And then I'm going to hold shift, click on the text so I have both the rectangle and the text selected. Let me zoom in a little bit. I'm going to hold alt and roll up the mouse wheel a few times to zoom in. And I want to click on the text again to make the text into the key object because I want the rectangle to be aligned relative to the text. And then I will center it up on the vertical and horizontal axis like that. And then we can click off it to deselect everything. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on just the rectangle right here. And I'm going to grab these little round knots and bring them in to give this rounded corners like that. And now I'm going to click on the text and go to Type, Create Outlines, and then hold shift and click on the rectangle so we have both the text and the rectangle selected. And now I'm gonna punch out these letters to make them negative space within the rectangle there. So with them both selected, let's look for the Pathfinder tool, not the Path, the uh, Shape Builder tool, which is right here. And I'm gonna hold alt and click on each letter. And what old, holding alt does is it deletes the area from the selected objects. So I'm gonna go ahead and click each letter, each number like that. And once you're done, you can go to the Select tool. Let me zoom back out. And if you take this and move this off the page, you can see that's transparency in there, which is important because if you're going to use this for a t-shirt design, you want the shirt fabric to show through those letters there. Okay, so let me move that up a little bit. 
maybe even scale that down, make it a little smaller. Again, holding shift will lock the proportions for you. And then finally down here at the bottom, I'm going to create the bottom text, which for this demonstration, I've used the word Adobe. So let me go back in here. Let me grab the text tool again. Let me click on the uh, canvas right there and I'm going to type in Adobe. And I will make this the same color that we've been, oh, you know, I gotta go to the select tool and select it. Then go to the dropper and make this the same color that we were using for everything else. Grab the select tool, scale this up. Again, hold shift to lock those proportions. Put that right about there. Hold shift, click on the rectangle so you have both text, the text and the rectangle selected and center that up horizontally. We wanna make sure everything's centered up here like that. Okay, now everything's looking good here. What I wanna do is just click on this text and go to type and click on create outlines. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and click and drag over all three of these op all three of these objects and group them together by going to Object, Group. And now I'm going to center them up on the canvas. So I'm going to use the uh, horizontal and vertical to, to uh, align them. And then just scale this up. I'm going to hold Shift and Alt so it scales proportionately and from the center like that. Now one last final step would be to add a little bit of a worn texture on here to make it look a little aged, to give it like a little bit of a vintage look. So to do that, I'm going to use a particular texture that I've downloaded. I'll have a link in the description to where you can download this texture. It's actually a bundle of 15 different textures that I've put together. Go ahead and download that bundle and you should get a zip folder. And within that zip folder, you're looking for texture number 10, which is, if I could bring this onto my screen here, there we go, texture number 10. So I'm gonna take texture number 10. Actually, what I'm gonna do first is I wanna select the objects right here, the grouping of objects. I wanna make sure I have them selected. Go to Window, and we're gonna open up Transparency. And you're gonna see, when you have this selected, you're gonna see a, a thumbnail preview of this object right here. And this right here is a layer mask. So I'm gonna double click this to add a layer mask in there. And it should disappear temporarily, that's okay. That's what's supposed to happen. And now what I'm gonna do is, if you see here, I have my folder with the texture. I'm just gonna take the texture and just click and drag it onto uh, Illustrator like that. Let me move this back off my screen and do it that way. Move it on there like that, and there you go. Now let me zoom out a little bit. Again, holding Alt, rolling up and down the mouse wheel will we'll zoom you in and out. And I wanna center this texture on the uh, vertical and horizontal axis, and then maybe scale this down a little bit. Hold Shift and Alt while scaling to scale this down proportionately like that. And if you zoom in, I think that looks pretty good right there. So now what you could do is once you're done doing that, make sure you click on the original thumbnail to go back to editing this object right here. Once you've done that, you can just go ahead and close out of that. You're done now. And what you could do now is, I mean, for the, for the most part, we're done here. Uh, what I want to do is, is actually just move this off the canvas. Hold shift to move it like that. And you can see the gray workspace showing through the transparent areas of the design like that. Now I'm going to grab the uh, artboards tool. And I'm just going to click on this object to create a new artboard around this object. And then I'll click on the original artboard and just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of it. And there we go. What you can do now is you can export this as a PNG image. You can just right click it. You can select it and then right click it and go to export selection. And then go ahead and export this as a PNG image or an SVG image, PDF, whatever format you prefer. And then you could upload this to whichever print on demand service you'll be using. So that is how you can go about creating this classic uh, vintage style athletic t-shirt design using Adobe Illustrator. If you have any questions, just drop a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.